you, you're quite sort of outspoken, or you, or, or you know, about what, what you believe. Um, as I said earlier, we're not really used to actors maybe questioning woke and identity politics. Uh, what we are used to are people like Robert De Niro getting up and saying uh, "F you, Mr. President," and constant stream of, particularly in America, I'm talking now. Mm. Uh, I just wonder what you think of this view that if actors sort of carry on doing this, they are eventually maybe going to alienate their the audiences. I think they have already alienated their audiences, some of them. But I can understand why Robert De Niro does it. You know, you're also in a room probably similar to the BBC, you're in a room where everybody agrees with you who's vocal about it. And it's, you know, it's, you're going to look better if you say, F mm. you, Mr. Trump. Mm. That's great. But actually, you, c you know, you can be a bit braver about it. And it's interesting what, what I'm really interested by Donald Trump. I find him fascinating because he's actually a very funny man. He's like his, he did a meme yesterday. I think the Daily Wire started it, but of him with Rocky on Rocky's body, yes. and that's funny whether you like it or not. So the conversation I have with myself about him is: Do you want the leader of the free world being a good stand-up comic? <laughs> <laughs> you recently did a sort of Trump-related stunt, didn't you, or an mm. experiment, didn't you? This is what I mean. You went out. Well, you can tell us what was it was. I um I. Uh, I, I'm sorry, who can I not in, incriminate with this story? <laughs> so, right, I, 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 a Trump 2020 hat found its way. Well, it actually, was a, it, well, it was a mega hat or a Trump 2020 hat found its way into my um, possession. And I thought, I want to see what the English reaction to this cap is. So I decided to do my Saturday ritual, go to the shops, then go off to a lunch and various. And... It was amazing, the amount of derangement that was caused. Really? So, such as what? Well, one lady had a sleeping baby in a pram that she was, you know, how mums can be so conscientious about keeping their baby sleeping. But as I walked past, she went into this sort of finger wagging madness, screaming at me, calling me crazy. And then the lunch I went to, I was asked to remove the hat. Really? Yeah. So the lunch was, uh, what, what would you, what? Uh, sort of like young liberals or, yeah. or what? Yeah, yeah. And um, I was asked to remove the hat, so I thought, no, I'm not going to remove that because that this sound, this feels a bit like I'm in a mosque and I've got to wear certain things or I've, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's for what I find odd about it is it's for quite optimistic words. Mm. It's not so much a swastika. I don't think it's a symbol of white nationalism or anything like that. I think it's. It's that a, a thing again to just stifle any form mm. of discussion. So I'm well up for a balanced debate on anything, but to just to go get the hat off. So what did you do? So I left. What you did? I walked home. Right. You do notice that there's a distinctly less um, vehement reaction it, uh, the less salubrious the area you're in. So basically, people are what well, they're just simply not bothered, or they're not, or, or they're not they're outraged. Not sure. I mean, you just you know, as you go over the border from Dulwich into Camberwell, it seems to uh, just get a bit less. <laughs> well, Lawrence, thank you so much for coming. Coming. What, you, the uh, the new album is called A Grief Observed. It is. And where can we see you next, by the way, on TV? I'm go I've just done a Netflix show where I play a Buddhist drug dealer. Oh, right. Okay. Which is, uh, As you do. Which was hilarious. But, and I took all of my joy about hypocrisy out on that wonderful character, which will be out next year. And then um, I'm touring the album in February. Oh, right. Okay. Where can people see you? All around the All UK? over the UK, yes. Right. But I'm, I have to go to Nottingham, otherwise Joe at Nottingham Radio will be furious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, look, all the very best, friend. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, that's it for us. What you're saying is this week. Please do remember to subscribe, won't you? And uh, see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>